there's finally been an update on the human remains found on the Titan submersible. It's nothing huge, but at least it's an update. CBS News received a brief statement from the U.S. Coast Guard on Monday saying they are still in the fact-finding phase. U.S. medical professionals are currently performing a formal DNA analysis on what they presume are human remains. They said they were carefully removed from within the wreckage of the site. The integrity of the Titan's hull, of course, has been under scrutiny. It was built with carbon fiber instead of the industry standard, which is titanium. The Titan imploded off the coast of Newfoundland on June 18th, and the incident is currently being investigated by U.S. and Canadian officials, but the U.S. Coast Guard is taking the lead. The U.S. Coast Guard has stated they are still in the fact-finding phase, but the next step has been announced that it will be the Marine Board of Investigation for public hearings. They said that the Marine Board has the right to issue subpoenas. They also have the right to do production orders for evidence and summon witnesses to testify. The U.S. Coast Guard uses the Marine Board of Investigation for the most serious of nautical disasters. As an example, they used it in 2010 with the Deep Water Horizon disaster off the Gulf of Mexico. James Cameron, who has dived to the Titanic more than 30 times, spoke last week in Ottawa and said that this situation is an extreme outlier in the world of deep sea exploration. He explained that around the world, there has been millions of hours logged of deep sea dives with no incidences, no deaths, and certainly no implosions until the Titan. 